Together, let us pray the second novena to Saint Francis Xavier. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Opening prayer. O Saint Francis Xavier, well beloved and full of charity, in union with thee, I reverently adore the majesty of God, and since I rejoice with exceeding joy in the singular gifts of grace bestowed upon thee during thy life and thy gifts of glory after death, I give him hearty thanks. Therefore, I beseech thee with all my heart's devotion to be pleased to obtain for me by their effectual intercession above all things the grace of a holy life and a happy death. Moreover, I beg of thee to obtain for me the necessary favors and graces. But if what I ask of thee so earnestly does not tend to the glory of God and the greater good of my soul, do thou, I pray, obtain for me what is more profitable to both these ends. Amen. The second day. I therefore ask God, our Lord, to grant us to know and experience His most holy will. And once we have experienced it, great strength and much grace to fulfill it with charity in this life. From the letter to the Jesuits at Rome from Cochin in India, written on the 27th of January, 1545. Here are some questions for reflection. What does God ask of me in my day-to-day -day life? Ask God for strength to do and to be this. Who or what do I find it most difficult to be charitable towards, even to love? Father, each day you show me the love of a parent for its child, watchful of my every step, eager for me to thrive. You are delight in my happiness and patient consolation in my sadness. May the constant love in which you enfold me give me the confidence to show that same love to friend and foe family and stranger alike. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Novena Prayer to Saint Francis Xavier O devoted servant of God, Saint Francis Xavier, your heart was burning with love for Jesus. Impelled by His love, you went from country to country and spent yourself unto death to proclaim the name of Jesus and the good news of salvation. That is why the Father filled you with glory in heaven and preserved your body from corruption here on earth. Filled with joy for these unique gifts, we join you in praising the Father. And now, we ask your intercession for ourselves. Each one may now put forth their petitions. We ask you to obtain for us the fulfillment of these desires if they are pleasing to the Father. And for everything, together with you, we praise the Father 
through Jesus in the Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Let us now put forth some petitions to the Lord. We have come together to worship the Lord our God and to honor the memory of his great missionary, Saint Francis Xavier. Through his powerful intercession, let us pray for ourselves, for the missionary efforts of the Church and for all the people of God. For missions and missionaries throughout the world, that through the proclamation of the good news of salvation, all people may come to know the one true God and Jesus Christ whom he has sent. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church that renewed by the Holy Spirit, she may show forth to the world the mystery of the Lord and be an instrument of redemption for all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian unity, that the Spirit of Christ, dwelling in all who believe, may bring us to that fullness of unity which Jesus desires, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unrepentant, that moved by God's loving mercy revealed in Jesus, they may repent their sins and open their hearts to the divine life of grace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves, that we may be ever faithful to our baptismal commitment to Christ and bring Christ's word and Christ's love to the world in which we live. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord God, our Father, we honor the memory of the Apostle of the Indies and Japan, Saint Francis Xavier. The remembrance of the favors with which you blessed him during life and of his glory after death fills us with joy and we unite with him in offering to you our sincere tribute of thanksgiving and of grace. We ask you to grant us through his powerful intercession the inestimable blessings of living and dying in the state of grace. We also ask you to grant us the favors we seek in this novena. But if what we ask is not for the glory of God and the good of our souls, grant us, we pray, what is most conducive to both. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Francis Xavier, pray for us. Concluding prayer, O most kind and loving saint, in union with you I adore the most divine majesty, the memory of the favors with which God blessed you during life and 
of your glory after death fills me with joy and I unite with you in offering to him my humble tribute of thanksgiving and praise I implore of you to secure for me through your powerful intercession the all important blessing of living and dying in a state of grace O God who was pleased to gather to your church the people of the east by the preaching and the miracles of Saint Francis Xavier mercifully grant that we who honor his glorious merits may also imitate the example of his virtues through Christ our Lord amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen